In this video, we're going to listen to the differences between the two Clarity VX neural networks, Broad 1 and Broad 2, for controlling secondary speech. We recommend that you listen to these examples on headphones. Broad 1 and Broad 2 were trained to remove all forms of noise, yet each handles background voices in its own unique way. Broad 1 was trained to preserve both the main voice and secondary voices in the recording. Broad 2 tries to keep only the main voice and eliminate all others. As an example, let's listen to this clip from an interview with Steven Spielberg. No, here's the thing. Um, every time I think I know myself, I fool myself and I realize I don't know myself that well. And I think if I knew myself really, really well, it would kind of um, impede the creativity or the openness of the next thing I do. Here, the problem isn't noise. It's the secondary speech, which is disrupting the interview and making it difficult to understand Spielberg. Let's listen to Broad One on this example. No, here's the thing. Um, every time I think I know myself, I fool myself and I realize I don't know myself that well. And I think if I knew myself really, really well, it would kind of um, impede the creativity or the openness of the next thing I do. As you can hear, Broad One removes the noise but keeps the secondary voice. However, in this case, the background voice is distracting. Now, let's try Broad Two. No, here's the thing. Um, every time I think I know myself, I fool myself and I realize I don't know myself that well. And I think if I knew myself really, really well, it would kind of um, impede the creativity or the openness of the next thing I do. With Broad 2, we're able to remove everything except the main voice. Whether you're dealing with production sound, broadcast or podcast, or even musical production where background voices and audience noises may bleed into the recording, the Broad 2 setting can effectively remove secondary voices. Let's listen to another example. Can we go, baby? Back to where we... Can we go back, back? Back to where we started out. Here we have both noise and secondary speech in the background. The noise is no problem for either Broad 1 or Broad 2. They can both remove it, but handling secondary speech differs significantly between the two networks. If what you need is completely clean vocals without any background voices, go with Broad 2. But if you want to keep some clean background voices that are in sync with the production sound, then Broad 1 is the way to go. And you can automate the amount of background voice. Can we go, baby? Back to where we can we go back 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 to where we started out started out started out back to where we can we go back 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 to where we started out started Since the vocals are now super clean after clarity, you're free to introduce a reverb for creative purposes without any concern for artifacts. Notice how with Broad 2, on the left, the perfectly clean vocal allows us to use a long reverb to prepare the track for a music production, while with Broad 1, on the right, we're using a very different reverb to sculpt a real-world space, gluing all the voices together for a cohesive-sounding production scene. Can we go back, back, back to where we, can we go back, back, back to where we started out, started out, started out, back to where we, can we go back, back. Back to where we started out. Started out. Started out. Let's listen to a third example. Here we have a recording of the ambience in a busy restaurant. Sound designers and effects editors often use this kind of sound to create a realistic space in a film or TV production. The problem is that there is too much unwanted noise, and the voices are distracting. 
Clarity eliminates the unwanted noise and lowers the amount of secondary speech. You can freely automate the knob to match the voices with the picture. This turns the sound into a usable production ambience bed over which you can comfortably layer the dialogue. Let's hear it in action. In this video, you learned how to use Clarity VX to clean up voices in a busy location. You can choose between neural networks to control the relationship between main and secondary voices. Experiment with Broad 1 and Broad 2 to decide which is the best way to approach the scene.